going on guys? I just got home from Crawlfest. Texas Crawlfest. Uh, the video should be out by now, obviously. Um, it is actually the last day of the event. Um, it rained this morning and, uh, yeah, my hotel was a little further away than I thought. I didn't want to drive an hour and a half out of the way just to go see if anyone was still there. <laughs> so, I, I know the night before everybody pretty well packed up and I'd packed down the booth. Um, yeah, I got enough footage. I sold quite a bit of kits and merchandise and stuff and I appreciate everybody coming out for that and I got to hang out with some cool people so you saw in that video um Harry Long Tall Texan RC uh first time meeting him it was his first event he's never really done it he's been on RC forever and ever and ever making stuff designing stuff he designed these caps so it was cool to, to meet him in person finally and he's got that beautiful brown and tan long bed and we are <laughs> both running around acting stupid wearing our cowboy hats uh we're drag racing uh, on the way to the trail first time i've really gotten to drive this truck i mean we did the little running video um did not fare so well <laughs> our drag race was the biggest incident uh the drag brake on this is set way too too quick fast like and in a hurry i thought i programmed this i swear i did but i, did, I guess i didn't i don't know i did something wrong with it because the drag brake was instant 100 percent lock up and uh we were pretty far away i couldn't really tell where he was at and I locked, I let off the throttle, truck stopped, and he coasted <laughs> pretty well wide open throttle into the back of it, caught this side of the body, snapped our printed bumper off. Uh, this, I don't even know where this one came from. This is a PLA print. It's an old one that came, actually came off of the white truck. So it's definitely not a super high quality print, but it was a very nice patina. So that's why I went with that one. But <laughs> not sure that, that those mounts are salvageable. Um, DBI printing on Etsy. That's the one I have on my blazer. It is solid and it actually has replaceable mounts. Really good design. Uh, we'll probably upgrade this one to one of those eventually, but for now, I got two days here at the house and I've got to head off to Kentucky for Beat the Creek. So quick turnaround time. We got to get this thing back up and running. I did roll it once on the trail as well. Um, I got a couple scratches on the roof. Luckily my bedside's, oh, held up pretty good. <laughs> Got a few scratches here and there. One spot I'm a little upset about. My beautiful patina over here. Got some trail rash. Um, and that's, you know, it looks like the gas cap's rusted out and there's stains going down. So that's going to be tricky to touch up. Yeah, got some scratches. I got a scratch on the bumper as well. But not only did the impact just break the bumper, it was kind of funny because all the stuff in the bed, the hay, it flew out and just filmed in slow motion. It just looked hilarious. Both of my door panels broke loose. And they're just glued in. Um, it's because of this big bench seat. This is the one that goes over the, the other seat. So it's a little bit bulky. Um, it was designed for the Blazer, which obviously has no door panels. So it was a little bit of a tight fit in the Scottsdale. So when things shifted, those door panels hit the back of the seat and it just popped them both off. So we got to fix that. Uh, what else? The body mounts. I don't know how, but both of these body mounts have pulled out of the screws. <laughs> Uh, so we got to tighten those and hope they're not bent out of shape because those are just the plastic ones. And uh, then after all of that, we were on the trails. We we're going back to get uh, just in time for the gallery. And my servo screw fell out. So <laughs> at that point, it was just hurry up and carry it, get back and, and get going. So we got a little bit of repairs to do. Like I said, we're crunch time because we're, we've got to go to Beat the Creek. Um, I'm not even unloading the truck. So I brought in my little tool bin. I got nothing in the shop. Shelves are bare. All the shop truck kits and rat rods are packed up and out in the truck still. So got a couple things to take care of these two days and then I'm excited to get to beat the creek. So let's get started. I'm gonna pull the body off, which is halfway there. And uh, yeah, we'll look at these door panels. We're gonna have to pull the interior out. And uh, oh, yeah, I got some thinking to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys. I had to do all that on high speed because I'm still just exhausted from crawl fest. Um, <laughs> couldn't sit there and figure out what to say. Uh, we got the door panels back on. Got the bumper glued back together. We'll see how long it holds. Um, everything's looking good. It was a good opportunity to clean it up. I don't know how those two body mounts, they were just loose. I don't know. They threaded back in and got nice and tight. So I don't think they got ripped out in the accident, but it kind of looks like what had happened. So I don't know, but we're ready to go. So I'm going to pack this truck back up. Um, this, again, I don't know. That was a really, really frail at home print. Um, it's got very little infill. Um, it looks like somebody actually made the inside with one of those pins that puts the plastic and you just make 3D things out of it. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty flimsy. So I'm sure it'll come off again, but it'll get us by for now. Uh, I tried something a little bit different with the rust. I've got the rust streaks and the areas that had scratches that I didn't like. Um, I put it in there and let it set up for a minute. And after it started getting a little more solid, I started wiping it pretty aggressively, trying to just keep it down in the in the cracks and kind of blend the rust out. So I'm gonna let this dry overnight before I put it back up actually, because I forgot about some of that. I did kind of a big area there. And uh, yeah, I think it'll be all right. It looks pretty good. This side, I was really disappointed about those scratches because this is the best patina I've ever done right here. Um, the way the fuel door looks rusted out and there's streaks coming down. So I tried not to mess those up, but we did need a little bit to fix that. Um, We'll see. I don't know. I want to do the iron paint, but that's like I had some scratches on the top from when it rolled a little on this side of the hood. That looks terrible. I should point the camera at it for you. Uh, that looks terrible when you put the iron paint on until it actually rusts. And I not feel impatient enough to try and get a fine tip and, and really just get it in the crack. Um, I don't have that steady enough hand anyway. So it is what it is. We're going to rock it like it is. And I've got to go get laundry done and get things ready to hit the road again and be on the way to beat the creek so anyways guys i appreciate y'all watching and i really appreciate everybody that came out to texas crawl fest and come talk shop and got rat rod kits and hats and stuff from me um it was awesome that's the main thing going to these events it really just uh keeps me motivated getting inspired by everybody's ideas and their builds and gets me back home and gives me the drive to keep on keeping on so Get out there and do something fun with the hobby guys because when you get around a whole bunch of people that are like-minded good things happen you have a good time learn some stuff and uh yeah just makes you more creative so appreciate y'all watching keep it scaling i'll see you next time